Robert Scorpio's room, please. Hello, Holly? Uh, yes? This is Frisco. Oh, hi. You here in New York? No, no. I'm in Port Charles. Listen, is Robert there? Uh, no, he isn't. Are you alone? No. Okay. Now listen, don't give away my end of the conversation. All right. Now you've got to get word to Robert that Tony is out of his coma. That is wonderful news, Frisco. Now we can't let word leak out. Now please tell Robert that he should beef up security around my brother's room. Now will you do that? Yes, yes, I will. Okay, now for your information, Holly, and don't Order let this slip. Seventh floor with a wheelchair staff. Tony's responding. Order he, can, he can feel his eyes focus. He hasn't got his voice back, but he can answer by blinking. The important thing is that he's out of his coma. Oh, I'm so glad. Now please give Robert this message and the information. Will you do that? Yes. I Thank you. Me. i got to go. What, good news? Very good news. Oh, tell me. I can't. Why not? It's police business. Sorry, for Robert's ears only. Oh, excuse me. I'm <laughs> sorry, Holly. Well, um, shall we go? The shops are waiting for us. Okay. I'm dying to take you to that wonderful little hat shop on West 57th Street. <laughs> you have always loved hats. Have well, you? after you see this shop, you will love them, too. Oh, I see. Just what kind of hat do you have in mind? Well, I see this one that's got the most... Praise! For God's sake, Robert, don't shoot! It's me, Sean! Same here, buddy. It was a close call. Yeah, too close for comfort. What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same question. Let's not play games. I'm here for the same reason you are, Slater. Tracking me? Right. See that you're still alert on this trail, too? Let's see if there's a light in this bird. Let's have a look around. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any sign of Slater. Here. Much of anybody's been here recently, by the looks of it. Had a pretty reliable tip that he was here, though. Me too. Who tipped you off? WSB. I say. Have a good look. Now you take that That's side of the room, here. and I'll uh, take this side of the room, all right? Yeah. Why? Can you tell me you've been tipped off by someone? Why didn't you tell me you were tipped off by someone? reason to work at cross purposes anymore, I guess. Yeah, I agree. This stage, it's about time we both started working together. I think that's a very good idea, old buddy. Very good idea. Uh, how can I help you, gents? Uh, you do not look like the kind of guys who frequent this establishment. I think it's cute to call this place an establishment. What can I do for you? I've got a picture I want to show you. Oh, what kind of picture? Hey, look. All right, I'm looking. Now what? You recognize the man in the picture? Nope. Look at the picture closely. I'm looking. All I see is some guy I don't know. You know the man in 3A? Well, we're not personal friends, if that's what you mean. I don't pal around with the guys who flop here, you know what I mean? Yeah. We know. What about the man in the picture? What about him? Could he be the man in 3A? Can't help you, gentlemen. You know? I know the customers by the room numbers only. Take a close look at the man in the picture. All right, I'm looking. Now what? Have you seen him before? Look, the guy in this picture is just another mug to me. Somebody tipped Slater? Could. I mean, he was tipped. Now, who could have tipped him? It's the big question. Well, anyway, we've lost him for now. I guess so. I guess you're right. Look, we better get going, huh? It's the rush. You don't want to miss your awards dinner, do you? I guess not. I'll take that. Thanks for your time. Oh, I get plenty of that. Uh, sorry, I couldn't help, Chuck. Oh, well, thanks for trying to help us anyway, huh? Let's go. Right behind you, buddy. It was nothing, Chuck.
about. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, huh. I can see the merchants of Manhattan have probably closed up for the day. Probably huh. on the phone. Whoops. Now, as we speak, Ali Scorpio's back in town and pork the champagne, uh, roll out the red carpet. You can't miss her. Mm. She's staggering under the weight of credit cards. Oh, Robert, I'm not that bad. You're not? <laughs> uh, well, let's have a look here. Your Honor, I would like as Exhibit A. All these wonderful boxes and bags, as you can see, with all the finest labels from all the most expensive stores in Manhattan on them. I would submit, Your Honor... Holly Scorpio is out of control. Maniac shopper, I rest my case. Gail and I just did a little bit of shopping. A little shopping? You call this a little shopping? I'd hate to think what would happen if you seriously put your mind to it. I mean, we'd have to get another room just for all the bags and boxes. Oh, we had a marvellous time, and I took her to that fantastic little hat shop I know. Gail doesn't wear too many hats. Oh, well, she will now. <laughs> uh, let me guess. She bought out the contents of a hat store as well? Uh, maybe mm, I... That's cold. Let me rephrase that. Was there anything left in this hat store when you two were through with your buying? And your buying? And your buying? She bought an absolutely darling little hat and it looks, it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. How many hats did you buy, Holly? Uh, let me show you the scarf that I got. Really wonderful scarf. Yeah. Where would it be? If you'd find it. How would you know a scarf here if you saw... Well, how many hats? Uh, I beg your pardon? Hats? No, they go in the head. Cover it. How many? I got you some gloves. I, I know you'll like them. Uh -huh. I know you'll like these. They're pigskin. They're very, very soft. Yeah. And, uh... And, and you know you wanted a maroon tie? Right, yeah. But there were the gloves. Uh, um, let's talk well, about I found hats. you one. It's silk. Ah, uh, yeah? Uh, uh, how many hats? It's beginning to sound like a broken record. All I'm trying to figure out is how many hats you went out and bought. Well, quantity is not important. It's the quality of the can. I see. In that case, I guess you got quality through in quantity. You're not going to tell me how many hats you bought, are you? No, I'm not. What didn't you buy? Now, what kind of a question is that? Well, I figured it'd be easier to find out what you didn't buy as against what you did buy. Actually, this isn't even all that I bought. I had so much stuff that I left most of it down by the desk. They're going to send a couple of bellboys up with me. You're trying to tell me that there's more down at the desk and it's going to take at least two bellboys to truck it all up here? Well, it'd probably be easier if they used three. You're not going to have cardiac arrest. Holly, you're out of your mind. Do you have any idea of the cost of all of that garbage you've just brought in here? Are you insane? We are not rich! I'm teasing, sweetheart. What? There's nothing downstairs at the desk. This is all there is. Say that again. There is nothing downstairs at the desk. This is all there is. I'm so glad you repeated that. You are indeed a master of psychology. Oh, I am? Yes, you con me into believing that you actually have more downstairs than you actually walked in with here, thereby making what you walked in with here not look quite so much. Very clever. I salute you. Thank you. Uh, I'll show you my hats later. How many hats, Holly? How many hats? Come on. Oh, I forgot. Many... Did you call Frisco? Did, 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 no, change the did subject. You call... what, what would I want with Frisco? Well, didn't you get your messages down at the front desk? Well, I'd only been in here a few minutes. I came straight, I wanted to save a bit of time, so I had a shower, and I was just coming out of the shower, and you stumbled in here after your sacking of Manhattan. What's with Frisco? What's up? Frisco called to say that Tony is out of the coma. That's great news. Absolutely, it's fantastic. He's, he's feeling things, he's focusing his eyes. He can't speak yet, but he's answering questions by blinking. Anybody else know about this? No, of course not. Good. Frisco says he thinks that you should beef up the security. Frisco's absolutely right. We don't want news of Tony's improved condition getting out just yet. I'll make that call now. Operator, person-to-person uh, -person with uh, Frisco Jones at General Hospital in Port Charles. Call me as soon as you make the connection, will you? I'll wait. Thank you. Come on, how many hats, Holly? How many hats in that box? 
It's a big box. Ten hats in there? Got to be at least a dozen hats in that box. Oh, I can't. Look. What about this one here? That big funny looking Ooh, black thing. Six or seven. In six there. or seven. Oh, well, 25 hats. Dr. Banks, call the lab on line 4B. Dr. Banks, call the lab on line 4B. Dr. Sostoni, the brother's reacting to neurological tests. He's making enormous strides. How's his heart? Oh, he's fine. We have him on a portable EKG monitor. He's very alert. His mind's very alert. He's suffering from trauma, though. A complete blackout of the past. Well, that's to be expected after what he's endured. But we're very, very pleased with his progress. We just don't want to tire him. We continue to try to communicate with him a little bit at a time and, and continue to run some tests. I know you must feel good about this, Risco. Hmm? This is great news. <laughs> We can all afford to feel optimistic, but remember, your brother has a long way to go. He's already come a long way, though. Yes, a lot farther than any of us hoped for. Uh, is it all right if I go in and see him? Sure. His wife's with him. Please, just don't tire him. Mr. Jones, right. call for him. Hey, thanks for the good news, all right? Yeah, this is Frisco. Frisco, it's Robert. I just got your message. Oh, Robert, I've been sweating it out around here waiting for you to call. Good news about Tony. Has yeah. Recognized you or Tanya yet? No. No, the, the doctor said that there's been too much trauma. He's suffering from a total blackout of the past. Okay. How's Tanya holding up? Well, she's been wearing herself out, but I think this news is going to lift her up a little bit. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Look, I'm glad you called. We'll increase the guards now that Tony's come out of the coma. Oh, thanks, Robert. Listen, I'll get uh, right on beefing up that security. If it weren't for this award dinner tonight, I'd be flying home to see Tony. Yeah, I know you would. Look, I feel a lot better now that you called and talked to you, and also that you decided to beef up the security. Good is done. Thanks for calling, mate. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Tanya. Where's Scott? He's coming out of the coma. He's, he's looking at me. Oh, he's looking at you. His hand moved. I saw it. God, I gotta get a doctor. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, look, I gotta get a doctor. Try to get a hold of Scorpio in New York. What's the problem? My brother's coming out of the coma. Take care of it. All right, look, I gotta talk to him, too. I'll be right back. I gotta get a doctor. Tanya, yeah. I just tracked down the best neurologist we have, Jim Rutherford. Well, where is he? He's on his way to the hospital right now. Looking good, Dr. Harding. This is like a miracle, Steve. His eyes, uh, they're following us. So what does it mean? It means that his mind is functioning and his eyes are focusing. Then he's out of the coma? Yes, he is. I don't want to tire him out, but I would like to ask him a few questions. Excuse me. Do you know your name? Blink once for no. Twice for yes. Now, do you know your name? Can you speak? He, he can't speak. Well, don't worry, his voice will come back with therapy. Steve, ask him if he knows who I am. Do you know this lady? Do you see her? Do you know who she is? Squeeze his hand. Can you feel this lady squeezing your hand? Well, that's good. He has feeling in his hand and he can understand what you're saying. Steve, ask him again if he knows who I am. Do you know this lady who's holding your hand? Tony, it's me, Tanya. Your wife, don't you know me? Have faith, he's come a long way very fast. Yes, yes, his responses so far have been nothing short of a miracle. You're going to remember everything soon. I know he is. I know he is.
telling you? What's the matter? It's Tony. What is it? Did something happen to him? No. Just go. He doesn't remember me. Are you sure? He doesn't know who I am. I guess I, I should be grateful that he, he has come out of the coma. And he's responding to their questions and all. He, he blinks his eyes, yes and no, to their to questions. He blinks his eyes? Yes. They say he'll be speaking soon. He just needs to get through therapy. This is wonderful news. Do you hear me? They didn't even think he would survive, and he's come out of the coma. This is wonderful news. It's like a miracle. Yes, and he's going to make it all the way back, do you hear me? All the way. Yeah, I know he is. I know he is. Dr. Cunningham, call your office. Well, we Dr. can't Cunningham, say a word office. about this to anyone, okay? Because if anything leaks out, it could put Tony in danger. Right? Now, I'm going to try to get all the Scorpio in New York. Are you okay? I'm fine. to Robert in New York. Did he agree with what you said? Yeah. He's going to start beefing up security right away. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better. Me too. Let's go. Tony, darling, we're here with you. And we love you. Tony. Work at getting better. 